Hello and welcome to the Shaky Science Show, where in this video we're going to talk about Google's secret science baby and big refill, we're going to be talking about Calico, which is one of Google's many I mean, baby companies and Calico is one that is a little bit mysterious in terms of what it's actually doing. So let's just jump straight in. So Calico, the name actually comes from the California Life Company not named after calico cats although the company likes to say the old saying that cats do have nine lives but anyway if we go onto their website the main thing they say is we're tackling aging one of life's greatest mysteries so it seems the main aim of this company is to understand lifespan and its regulation and on their front page they have this picture of a tree trunk and I'm assuming the link between that is somewhat due to the fact that this tree clearly lived a long time <laughs> um, and also if we go back to the logo you'll notice that the calico seeds actually kind of mimic the structure of the tree trunk group. So what do we actually know about calico? Well we know that it's come from Google and it's their health venture focused on understanding aging and so this is why I made the joke in my title about it not being me as their baby because I talk about aging a lot on this channel apparently. And so the company is also I guess somewhat a baby because it was only founded in 2013 and it now actually comes underneath the alphabet in called the Google Corporation. Honestly I don't really understand how that company is structured, it's a little bit complicated. And they have about 1.5 billion apparently, don't trust that number, it's, I, yeah I don't even know where it came from. But it's a Google company and they probably have a lot of investment should they need it to be able to uncover aging. But if we go back to their website, there really isn't much information regarding anything specific about what they're studying. So this leaves the question, what are they actually doing? So I guess somewhat ironically now, I looked into Google search for some answers and I came across this article which seemed a bit uncertain and this article about Google is super secretive about its anti-aging research. No one knows why. And so this um, article is one I could actually access and it was actually quite interesting because they had quotes from different scientists. And so they asked Eric Topol, who I've spoken about one of his books before, and he has colleagues who have joined Calico and says that they're hyper secretive. I have invited them to speak at our programme we have on genomic medicine. They say, no, they can't talk about what they're doing. So I thought that was a little bit mysterious. And I do like a good mystery. So I went back to Calico's website to see what I really could find out about it, put my detective skills to test. And one thing about Calico is they have a lot of collaborations with different universities and other companies. And if you want to partner with Calico, obviously they need to release some bit of information about what they do as a company. But again, it's all just a little bit vague in terms of the actual areas of interest because they say that they're exploring the genetics of ageing in human populations and focusing on the hallmarks of ageing, which we all know I know a little bit about. Um, so that includes proteostasis, stress responses, cellular senescence. And to do this, they're using a variety of different model organisms from yeast to worms to naked mole rats. And they're also studying neurodegeneration, chronic inflammation and metabolic dysfunction. And and cancer as well and that all comes underneath the big branch of aging so again it's just a little bit vague and then if you try to find out who they're actually collaborating with it kind of just takes you further down their web page which didn't really reveal too much but i have done a bit of research and so they collaborate with abfi the broad institute and also with the university of pennsylvania and that's just to name a few but i thought we could also learn something from looking at who's involved with the company so as I was looking through their team members, I recognised Cynthia Kenyon, who was a pretty, you know, big name in the understanding the genetics of ageing. And so she's the vice president of the ageing research part of Calico. So, I mean, that's pretty promising. I, I mean, I can only assume that she's doing... <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. Yeah, I will, again, it's a little bit vague. It doesn't really say too much. But I thought we could also learn something about the different jobs that they have to offer. And, well, firstly, I noticed they have quite a few postings for job positions. And one that caught my eye was one about uh, cellular senescence and cancer biology, which is pretty much my PhD in a nutshell. Um, and this project focuses on the naked mole rat. So again, it talks about 
the types of model organisms that this company is focusing on and yeah I mean they're always going to be a bit vague with job positions I suppose but yeah everything just seems a little bit vague and so I think that's where these articles are coming from that you know it's Calico it's funded by Google it's promising something big about ageing research and I mean there are some publications that you could look at but again it you know with those collaborations nothing seems very specific to Calico itself so what is it that they're doing is there something really big that they just don't want to reveal at the moment and it's one of those if I tell you I have to kill you scenarios who knows but I did find a quote from David Botstein the chief scientific officer of Calico and one of the first reports when Calico first started, he said that the best case scenario is that Calico will have something profound to offer the world in 10 years. So, you know, maybe it's just a matter of waiting and to see what that something is. So hopefully this has covered a bit, well, probably hasn't really uncovered any bit of the mystery to do with Calico, but oh well, hopefully you've learned something nonetheless. And as always, thanks for listening.